So I was trying out a few things in a Blink 2 the other day and found out that the dash dash file statement, meaning that the pedant the map files and also it seems the binary pedant map files are being retired from the new version of Blink, so the Blink 2. Well, I was a bit uh, surprised and well, my reaction was something similar to this. But you can't do this to me. To be honest, this is not that dramatic because one thing that we have to remember that Blink 2 is still in alpha stage. And even then, when it comes out to beta, then there is a lot of testing until a stable version is released. And even after that, the Blink 1.9 version, which is being used now, will be supported for a long time. Still, I thought this is a good opportunity to look at these new Plink 2 files and see what they do and how they look like. So if you want to run anything with the dash dash file statement in Plink 2, which I tried here, you will get the following error message that the file dash dash file has been retired and the continued use of pad and map file set format is strongly discouraged. Use the pad map to convert to more appropriate file format, etc. So this is a clear message that the pad and map files will not be used in Plink 2. A quick look at the Plink 2 website shows also some more information on these discontinued file types. So here it is referred to as Plink 1 text genotypes and Indeed, there is an option to load this, uh, the pad and map files in Plink 2 as well with the dash dash pad map option. Still, it is highlighted here that the use of pad and map files is discouraged because these file formats are more inefficient and also limited in scope. From my perspective, I liked the pad and map files quite a lot but it doesn't change anything on the fact that they will be not appearing in Blink 2. So we have to move forward and see what are our new options with the new file types in Blink 2. The new file types are called .pgen files. And uh, well, we could actually, if we have pad and map files only, so we can use this dot dash dash pad map option and then load our data. Now this is go data. So we set the chromosome set to 29 and then use the new option, the dash dash make dash pgen option in Blink, which generates us the new file set. After transforming these files with a new dash dash make pgen option, we see that there are three file types, the .psam file, the .pvar file, and the .pgen file. So let's check out how these files look like. So I opened the three new files that were created. Well, I use the my first pgen file as the output file name just for fun. And uh, well, but this is then the, the contents of the pvar file that we see that is quite similar to the map files or the bin files from before. Kind of a notable difference is that here in the first line, because we use a non-standard chromosome set in a, in a sense that is a non-human chromosome set, it gives us how many, or maybe it gives also for the human ones. I don't know, I haven't tried yet. But for sure, it gives how many chromosomes you have. So there you have 29 autosomes here, X and Y, XY and mitochondrial are denoted with these letters. What we have here are the chromosome, the position, the ID, the reference and the alternative allele. And uh, well, the first SNPs are kind of unplaced, but later on we have all the SNPs and all the positions and chromosomes, etc. Also, well, it starts with a hashtag here, are these first lines. That is also quite helpful because if you load this into, well, basically some software, then the hashtag is usually 
denoting the comment line. So it's kind of nicely done here. Also note the phrasing, so the reference and the alternative alias, they are pointing into a direction of sequences and use of sequence data as well, which is definitely a bonus point for the new file format. The .psum file, it's a very reminiscent of the FAM files from before. So basically informations about individuals, Again, the first line is a sort of a header starting with a hashtag. The first column is a FID, is for the family ID. Then the second column is the IID, and the third column is the sex information. And well, here we have a kind of a standard setup. So in this case, it's the Valdostana GOAT. So this is the abbreviation VAL for the breed itself, the IDs, and well, the sex is unknown. And the third part, so these pgen files, this is this, uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, very interesting symbols here. And that is because this file is a binary file format. So we cannot read it with the text editor, but indeed this is where all the genotype data is located. So that was it for this quick tour of the new pgen file format for Plink 2. As I said before, until Plink 2 launches, we have still time, but well, you, the viewers of the Genomics Bootcamp are already informed about these developments. So once they come, it will not catch you by surprise. For today, this was it. I thank you for your time and wish you a really nice day.